just when you thought we were done, Hot Toys goes, no, we're not done. We're going to drop. What are we going to drop? We're going to drop General Grievous. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this thing. Here, all right, let's go through some of these notes real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. Let's see. Uh, literally just dropped seven minutes ago while I was making another video. General, Dr General Grievous was a brilliant separatist military strategist and a fear Jedi hunter known for his ruthlessness and hacking cough. His body itself was a weapon, allowing him lightning quick strikes, devastating blows. But he was also quick to run from a fight, and a tactic that worked until his fighting meeting. One uh, final meeting with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right, uh, Hot Toys is officially pre uh, pr thrilled to officially present today the highly anticipated one six scale die-cast collectible figure of General Grievous to expand the Hot Toys Star Wars Dark Side collection. Wow. That's freaking cool. The highly detailed collectible figure is masterfully created, featuring a newly developed head and separate rolling eyeball system, allowing positionable eye line, a die cast metal body structure, allowing astonishing articulations. The general uh, iconic forearms, LED light up savers powered by USB. That's going to be a lot of freaking cables. Finely detailed wired cape, interchangeable battle damage parts, an electro staff blaster, and a display base. The special edition is only available in select markets. I guess I'll have an extra piece. Comes with a General Grievous commemorative coin. Oh my God, throw the freaking coins out the window already. In addition, this coin has a unique style that is exclusive to those pre-ordered at the Anacon um, and Games Hong Kong. Okay, let's look at this thing. Let's look at it. All right, we all thought this was coming. It's finally here. Let's be about it. Diecast General Grievous. It's going to be cool, I think. I think it's going to be cool. Will it pose like that? Probably not. That's a funky, weird, that's a weird, anyway, anyways. All right, let's see. Three modes of a mechanical arm display. So we've got just dual arms right here. Then we've got like a split arm. So those two arms and they split off. That's pretty cool. And then obviously we've got four arms. So that's interesting. Interesting. Not, not hating that. Paint application, like, uh, so I've got the, obviously we, most of us have the Sideshow Grievous because that's the only one we had for a while. And I have premium format Grievous, which is by far the best one out of any of these, including this one. Um, this is a, uh, I want to see more. I want to see more. I want to, I want to feel the weight of the thing. Like what parts are die casted? The frame and are they ratchet? They got to be ratcheted arms and shoulder joints because with die cast, you're going to have a heavier arm the sideshow one's failure were the joints they were just terrible so this one I, I find it a little surprising they didn't actually talk about the joints knowing the malfunctions on the previous iterations of them even though it wasn't their figure um look at that pose holy crap that's crazy you would never do that with a sideshow figure ever 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 that's redonkulous wow that's freaking cool now what it doesn't show you if you got four LED lightsabers, you're going to have freaking cables everywhere. Uh, and where do you, where are you going to hide them on this figure? So that's going to be a challenge. We'll, we'll deal with that when we actually get this thing. Um, you're going to have be able to store the sabers in the cape, which is you should be able to do that. That's pretty cool. I, I would like to see less VFX like composite photos. I want, I want to see it just on a regular background. Like this is this this is. Is too much. This this background's too much. I, I want to see just regular freaking photos on a gray background, black background, white background. I want to see detail on this thing, and I'm not really getting that. I guess we'll have to wait and see when it's on display at Secret Base, and uh, get some proper uh, photos of this thing. Here we got a, a battle damaged hand. That's cool. I dig that. What else? It's not. I mean, you can't. There's just too much going on here. That's not even a good composite. Um, look at the eyes, the movable eyes. That's kind of cool. All right. There's our Kenobi. Will we see a reissue of that Kenobi? Probably. I think so. With an updated head sculpt, because I think in my previous videos, I've talked about how that head sculpt is really not that good. Um, will we see another one? Probably. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, all right, so here we go. Got some detail. Let's get into this thing. Look at this. Like, that's very nice. Like, the eye detail, which the Sacho eye detail is pretty good, too. But the the it, the plating, the armor of it looks less plasticky, which it probably is because we we don't know which parts are die cast. I would think that's probably a die cast part. Don't know. 
Um, but it, the paint application makes it look less plasticky and more and uh, less, you know, it, it just does. So I dig that. I think that's pretty freaking cool. I like it. I like it. Get the the neck detail and all the hoses and cords and everything. How poseable that's going to be. I would imagine there's a ball joint here on the head. Uh, it's got to be. And here's a look at the joints. So we've got uh, there in the shoulder. They got to be ratcheted. Got to be. And that that would have solved uh, Sideshow's uh, problem as well. But this got, they got to be ratcheted. And we don't know yet. Separate rolling eyeballs. That's cool. Uh, probably a feature I wouldn't use, but nice to have. All right, here we go. Die cast metal components. There we go. Now we know what the hell's going on. So the endoskeleton is die cast. All the joints. Okay, so that's nice. So the actual bendable joints are die cast parts. That's awesome. The next die cast, so it's going to be pretty uh, sturdy there. And then if we zoom in, maybe we can get a look at the back of this joint. Those are ratcheted joints right there. Those are ratcheted joints on the knee for sure. Uh, these look more like piston-ish looks. So hard to say in there. The hip joints a little got some die cast in it. Uh, but th those are certainly ratcheted joints there on the on the on the knee. Go and see over here. They look to be ratcheted on the elbows as well. Like there's some piston action going on. Like if over here, that, that looks like some pistons, like the, you know some extendable things. This looks ratcheted. So I think. Certainly the hips will be ratchet as well. We've seen that with just regular clone troopers. That's cool. I'm for it. That's pretty sticky cool. Detail, open chest armor displaying inner mechanical details. We've seen that before. The fact that it opens, openable, I guess I should have read that in better English. Um, the fact that it opens, that's pretty sweet. I dig that. Separate rolling eyeballs, LED lightsaber powered by USB. That's a whole lot of freaking thing. Electro staff, get a blaster, get a broken, uh, broken off hand. A lot of switch out parts. Some switch out hands. One can only imagine one of them is posable. Got to be. One of those hands has got to be posable. Um, I dig it. I dig it. You're going to get a special edition coin. Let me know your thoughts. Comment section down below. When this goes on display at Secret Base, we'll do another video and have some better photos. But this is what we got right now. I could not be more excited. This is freaking amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. As always, click the like. See you next time.